no secret, it remains a seller's market in Florida. But what does that mean for home buyers? New numbers from the Federal Reserve economic data shows housing inventory has dropped by roughly half since last year. And a study last month from FAU says costs are almost 22% above their long term trend. Now that equates to a smaller and higher priced inventory. So should you buy or wait? And when is the turnaround? Fox 29's Arthur Mondo reports on the tough decisions on the market. And give me a cocktail and a bathing suit and that life is good. Tammy Jo Ron is living the good life in her Lake Worth gym. It just seemed like one of those things that they was screaming for me to bring it back to life. A 1940s home with character, easy access to the water, and the city's vibrant downtown district. This is one of my future many dream homes, but this is my first step. A dream location that took almost a year to find, and amid a pandemic, Ron likens it to a full-time job. It took up every free minute of my time. It was work, take care of my kids, look for a house. If you find a home that works for you, strike now while the mortgage rates are low and you'll get the biggest bang for your dollar. Real estate expert Bonnie Heatzig says historic low mortgage rates coupled with out-of-state buyers is behind the limited inventory. This chart from the Federal Reserve Economic Data shows just how low it's got. So it is challenging. Heatzig says the summer months up to around Labor Day would give buyers a better inventory to navigate. Transactions are still ongoing, but it doesn't seem to be at that high rate that we usually see during other times of the year. She also advises home buyers to work with a realtor who has mastered the art of the bid. Minimize your contingency periods. That would be for your inspection and your appraisal periods. And have all of your mortgage documentation pre-approvals in line, ready to accompany your offer. And lastly, if you're a buyer on the hunt waiting for market prices to drop in the near future, experts say don't bother. Demand comes with a cost. Arthur Mondale, Fox 29 News.